Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to be creating some happy mail and this is going to turn into a suitcase that will open and close and you can add some goodies on the inside. Now it also comes with a piece that you can fold to create a gift card. So you could add that on the inside, uh, sort of makes a little pocket. I didn't end up using that. I had trimmed out some of the extra elements using some of my Cricut faux leather. And that was one of the pieces that I did with that and I didn't really like the way it folded together. So I decided to forego that and thought I would put something else on the inside of this. Um, but I did wanna let you know that that is included. I used an SVG file to create this. I believe there are probably some tutorials you can find that will teach you how to score and fold everything. Um, it really is a pretty simple shape. You can tell that here by looking at it as it's flat. But I, for the sake of time, and because I knew I was going to wanna to make several of these, I decided it would be worth it for me to go ahead and purchase the file. It wasn't very expensive. I think it was probably a dollar or two. And since it included all of the little uh, border pieces as well as the straps, I thought it was well worth the investment for the amount of Happy Meal that I make. So I have gone ahead and cut this out with my Cricut. And the collection I'm gonna be using is an old collection from probably about a year ago this, this time last year. It's Paige Evans Whimsical. It has some of the most colorful, beautiful flowers. I will link as much of it below for you as I can find. I know a lot of you probably have already gotten your hands on some of these. Um, and the flowers are just, I go back to it again and again. It's one of my favorite collections. So I have trimmed out the straps as well as the box from a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper. It actually ended up being the same piece of pattern paper so you can get both of these out of one 12 by 12 piece. And then as I mentioned earlier, the additional sort of findings as well as the handle and that gift card holder I had cut using some of my Cricut leather. I thought that would give a really nice texture uh, to the outside of the suitcase. So I have started here by folding everything on the score lines and then I placed this together just like I did with the boxes from one of my previous Happy Meal videos, that Goody Tower. Um, so you're just taking uh, some score tape, adding that to the little edges of the flaps and then you fold those flaps in to create a corner, making sure that's lined up nice and neat so you get a nice crisp edge. Once I got all of those put together, I've now started working on my straps. So the tricky thing about the strap is because you wanna be able to open up the strap and get into all of the goodies in the box, you just have to be careful that you're not adding too much score tape. So I went with less is more, I did about two thirds. And then here you'll see at the end, I'm gonna add a little bit more just to make sure it's down nice and tight on the top of my box. So I went ahead here, added score tape to the back of both of these. Now in order to get this lined up, I'm gonna use my ruler and I'm just gonna keep that right along the edge where I started that there. And then I'm gonna count how far and just keep that even as to how far from the outside edge I'm gonna start this strap. I don't remember what measurement I used. Uh, it looks to me like it's probably three quarters of an inch or, or somewhere close to that. Um, but I just made sure that I had the same amount of little squares from the edge on one side as I did on the other. And then I'm just gonna wrap this around, making sure to keep that as straight as I can. And when I put this last little piece down, I will just take this and fold my strap over, making sure that it matches. And then I can pinch that together there at the top. Next, I need to get the little buckles onto my straps. So again, I have cut this out using my Cricut leather and I'm just gonna slide that paper strap down onto that. I do wanna make sure that the buckle isn't gonna fall off. So I'll show you in a minute how I keep that secured down. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the second one here first, try and get these lined up as evenly as I can. Thank you. 
And then I thought first I would go ahead and glue the buckle down, but because it is so tiny, I wanted to grab my um, Velcro dots. And I thought I will just place the Velcro dot down to hold that in place. I'll make sure that I catch both the buckle as well as the paper. And that seemed to work pretty well. You'll see I do come in a little bit later here and add some glue. I don't think it was probably necessary, but just for a little overkill to make sure it wasn't going to go anywhere, I did add a little dot of glue underneath the edges of the buckle as well. And I will do the same thing on this buckle, just centering that Velcro dot right over top of that center there, making sure I'm catching both the buckle as well as my strap. And a little bit of glue to make sure that's down nice and tight. So now I'll take the opposite side of my Velcro, attach those together, and place that down. I'm gonna take my bone folder here and just go underneath that movable flap on the top of my suitcase. Make sure I can press that down nice and tight. And then again, I will do the same thing on the opposite side. And there you can see how the little sort of flap or door will work. Next, I need to get my handle in place. And I thought this would be really fun to use some grommets to make it look even more realistic. So I'm gonna take my crocodile here. I'm using the smallest of the two holes. And I will go ahead and place a hole on either end of the strap. And then I pulled out my grommets and I tried to find sort of a coppery brown that would match the leather pretty well. Now I did realize at this point that the grommets I had were actually only for the larger of the two holes. So I will go and just sort of stamp over top or punch over top of that to um, make my hole large enough to fit the grommet. And there I'm just checking to see how that will line up. I am not able to fit the hole punch portion into the suitcase, so that may be something that you want to punch in advance if you are making the same type of file. Uh, but I was able to just use my pokey tool and create a hole there, and that worked just fine when I placed my grommets. I'm going to take both of them here and just pop those down in to make sure that it looks right. And then once I have that nice and lined up and I'm happy with everything, I will go ahead and squeeze the grommet together. Lastly, I need to place all of the little corner protectors on my suitcase. So this cuts out three different types and for this front flap, because it needs to be separate, you have one sort of quarter of a circle and that's going to go on the top two corners, just using some art glitter glue to stick that in place.
And then I'm gonna take the half circle and I'll just fold that around the top corners. So that way when the door or the front is closed, it will look like it's a complete corner protector. The leather was a little bit tricky um, with the liquid glue, but I just held it there until I was sure that it was dry enough and it worked really well. For the remaining corners, you're gonna use the sort of Pac-Man shaped pieces. And you're just gonna fold these together around the corners to match up those cut edges. And once it's in place, it will look like it's a complete corner piece. The placement of this is really something that you sort of understand as you put it down. I practiced it a few times, um, but once you, once you get it down, it's really easy to keep going on all the rest of the corners. So I'm going to continue on showing you how I'm placing a few more of these larger pieces. Um, while I do that, I'm gonna let you know that I've decided to split this video into two. Um, again, that's gonna help me try to get you five videos this week since I am already a little bit behind. Um, I'm going to be posting the next one right after this one. And in that one, we'll be decorating up the front of the suitcase and also creating some little embellishments to place on the inside. Towards the end of the video here, I will have some close-ups of the finished suitcase uh, so you can get a better look at those corner pieces as well as the handle. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used Remember to leave me a comment below so you can be entered into this week's March Madness giveaway. And I will see you very shortly in the next video.